Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back. I'm sorry, I'm kind of on the move. They got a slime jumping at me. I just came back over here. And uh, today we're going to be searching up for that uh, that lovely home... Go away, Blob. That lovely new home spot here in the swamp with, uh, with the bone mass, boy. And I have decided I do want to use the Ewok treehouse village thing. Uh, I'll build... Like, one... I'll build two. One to be a, uh... Like, the entryway one that has a little suspension bridge that leads over to a larger one that's gonna have all, like, my living quarters and storage and workbench and a lot of the other, uh, little things and stuff. And I have some basic little things on me. Dwindling on these, so I hear some random shenanigans when I was back at base. I made up, uh... The sausages. Because I grew, you know, the, the turnips. So we're gonna... Ew, oozer. Good there. Uh, I'm down to this one poison resist. I do have more fermenting back at base along with more health thingies. Uh, either the basics or the medium, because we did have the blood sacks this go around. I forget which one I made. Uh, but they are they are back there fermenting. Uh, huh. So, we do have that. Also, I've gathered up it's five or six hundred wood and about fifty core wood back at the little base that's over here by that maypole so i've got a bit of wood in the area what was that oh wait didn't i get run out of here by an abomination last time mm. probably be careful of that go away oozer uh but yeah little tree house style build uh, why does that look like meadows over that way i don't I don't particularly enjoy that. Why am I also, you know, walking the wrong way? I need to be heading towards the Bone Mass Summoning Altar. That is our ultimate goal, is to build in the general area of it. Either within render range, so we can, you know, see it all times, or just outside of it there. But, you know, just scouting for that, uh, that beautiful base location. Also get a bunch of fiery things. Got a certling spawner over there. Good for cores and charcoal and just all kinds of shenaniganeries. I also got some Draugr spawner piles and some skeletal spawn piles there. Noted. Plenty of plenty of crypts in here. Not uh not hard up for those at all now, are we? Oh crap. Nope. Come on. Ow. Oh, thank you. Please, Louise. I was uh, a little fearful. That uh, leeches, 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 leeches. Gross. Good for uh, good for making some healthy items, but not exactly what I want to deal with. Oh, I did need to kill another, another two or three abominations because the one we killed gave us eight, but I need ten. Um. I need 10 root, twisty root core thingies that they drop to be able to make one of those pieces of armor. And I know we're going to want the, the Harkness, the Chet piece, at a bare minimum. Oof, you don't want to... Oh, hey! You're a one-star, certainly. That's cool. Oh! Uh, Abomination. Yeah, not, uh, not cool, not cool. Can I put some distance between us? Please and spank you. Uh, still heading for bone mass. Another abomination staying down over there. I am happy with that. Oh, hello, uh, Le Oozer. Swamp. So much easier to navigate during the day. I usually find myself here at night, though. I don't know if that's just, like, me thing or some sort of curse I've contracted to where every time I try and do something in the swamp, it's nighttime. Uh, but today it doesn't seem to be the case, and it's so much easier to see and get around and plot a course through. Yeah. Ah, there we go, way over there. Uh, what are you? Okay, you're uh, you're an axe wielding boy. Yeah, but there we go. We do see old bony boys summoning altar. 
And, yeah, that's... Ooh. Gonna need a lot of work in this area. Uh, whew, yeah, because I need to level out a lot of this to, you know, fix the, the water level so I can actually run around and, oh god, why? Yeah, get buried. Uh, so I can actually run around and fight Bone Mass in, uh, because I need to be able to move, because he summons a lot of little guys too, so you want to get rid of them. You do, you do, you do. Hmm. And this actually looks like a good place right here, doesn't it? Uh, I get about three bits here. These two larger ones that are right next to each other. Please don't tell me. Okay. Those are together. Yeah. I think this one will be... Oh, this one right here. Uh, we'll take down this ancient tree, but this one will be to house our main base. And I say up here can be the... One we sort of spiral some stairs up from. So over here to go up and then, you know, gently wrap ourselves around until we're about at... Hmm, how high should we go with this? Because uh, I do want it a fair bit off. If I go right here, just under this little notch, or if I go to that notch and let that sort of be inside my base as well, just sort of grows up through the thing and just uses it as a centerpiece... Yeah, it might also be nice, but it does put us at the back of the skull. What are what are we looking like over yonder? Hmm. If you weren't here, I would say uh, these two tree, two trees. Oh, hi, friend. What are you doing? You come here often? You probably live here. That's a stupid question. Um. And goodbye. Uh, but yeah, I would say these two, if this guy wasn't here blocking my immediate view. Uh, but that doesn't mean nothing in this area is good. Uh, oof, look at all the, ugh, the glowy shenanigans. Um, yeah, because if I wanted to look down at the skull and see the proper skull, hmm, I guess if I go up high, like right there, just over the notch of this and make that the floor right there up here. I could make this the pathway up. And that could work, couldn't it? Oh, yes. Let's um grab some preliminary wood here. Yeah, this is going to take... Uh, I'm going to need to transport some stone from the meadow's base over to here to kind of fill and bring all this up. Because I don't... Don't want that to be part of the thing. You know, this is this is fairly low. I may... Hmm. I may try to incorporate this as part of the entrance. This thing. Uh, do probably stairs from there to here. And then let this walk up. Because I need to go up to that crook. Uh, eight. Here we go. Can I have me a crafting? Can I have a... Yeah, here we go. Have a little, little workbench, like so. Y'all shut your faces. Uh, and then I want, yeah, because the tree axe is support. So, I want you and you. Can I? Yeah, I want to try and. Uh. Up at the bottom, too. And there we go. Uh, and I'll get up, you know, little block pieces to go in there. I want these to come up. Walk up this way. Need to go like that. Here. I don't think. I mean, there might be a height issue. Uh, ooh, missing requirements. I need, uh, I need more wood. Yeah, I'm thinking something like this that spirals up. I'll do something to add in a nice little, you know, protective layer around. Uh, or like a guardrail, like a handrail style thing. Um, yeah, kind of have that walk up. Uh, finish its next spiral and then go over. That should put me... Pretty much at the height I want. And now it's a... 
Now it's dark here, and there's gonna be wraiths. I'm not a fan. Uh, I do know right here is gonna be the little house. Let's drop our swamp home right there. Ah, and some uh, some wood would be nice. I probably gather a little still, mind you, while uh, all these goobers are trying to chase me. I don't really like having to try and gather in these sort of conditions. Uh, also, I'll throw in a bunch of food into my belly. Yeah, there we go. Seven there. Uh, yeah, he's guarding all the regular wood, basically. That's off in that direction. Don't like that. He's being mean. Let's see. It's two per those stairs. Uh, we're just going to use the stairs to plot out how much we're going to go, and then we'll grab um, some wood. And I'll, I'll work on transporting a bunch of stuff over here. And getting it all set up. I'll even, you know, likely knock down the, the portal that's out that way. Once I get the materials away from there. Knock down that portal and then bring the stuff over here to set up the portal here. So I can more quickly transport resources back and forth. Because gathering resources in the swamp. Oh god, people are... No... Because uh, gathering resources in the swamp isn't exactly the thing you you want to be doing. Especially at night, trying to run around, gather, transport back, and build is a little difficult. Um, yeah, that tree will put us real close, so if I go real high, like up there high, we should be... Oh, hi. Uh, we should be okay. So if you'll excuse me. I won't subject you to the darkness of the night, uh, like I am trapped with here. Ouch. And I'll see you when, uh, when I've gotten some more resources moved this way. And when the, well, when the sun is back up, because, oh, there's a wraith. See, I told you there was going to be a wraith. Oh, please leave me alone. Please, 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 please leave me alone. Oh, ho, 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 well. It's, uh, it's dark, the sun is coming up, well, the sun is coming up again, uh, it's been a whole nother day cycle, uh, I've transported some of the wood over, there's still maybe about three, 350 left over there, regular wood, we have a stack of core wood here, I haven't cut down a lot of trees in the area, so I got more, um, all the shenanigans, and as you can see, I've decided, I had a change of heart, I was looking at it, I was thinking about it, and just, it, I was too fixated on one of being in front of the skull versus choosing a good tree. This one has, you know, a good birth of uh, open space around it. It's, you know, not super gnarly. It doesn't have a whole lot of these little things hanging off that I can't get rid of. So, yeah, it was a, it was all around a better choice of a tree to use. Um, that little crook could have been cool, but yeah, it just had too many other little factors within it uh so i decided to move over here i threw this makeshift thing together and i started building up through what little of the night i had left just to get up to a bet excuse you what is going on here what is uh no seriously what happened in there i have to figure that out uh oh i see it's right there what is Eight, actually give me that back. Yeah, you. You little guy, it's you. What are you what are you doing in here? Um I should be able to do that, right? Oh oh I got that. I put down uh some things. I was trying to a few different methods of getting things together, but I didn't like what this actually came out to be. Have that? Yeah, there we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You are gonna go. Oops, if I get out of the way. You're gonna go there. There. And then this should be able to go. Yeah, something like that and that. And that should give me. Uh, this side's an easier transition up. I guess you're too close. Yeah. 
Yeah, you are. How can I back you up a bit? Is there a good way? Something like that. that. Does that still cover? Yeah, that still covers that. Now I just have the corner of this guy to contend with. Hmm. Sorry, I'm real locked in on hitting these things, you know, dialed in. Well, that way they don't uh, trip you up as you're trying to, you know, ascend. And oddly enough, I didn't have this little issue right there on the rest of them. That's sort of how I did it, but whatever. I still get up, and about right here is... Excuse you? Oh, heck no. Uh-uh, son. That's a, that's a no-go right there. Let you turn around over this way. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And just finish you off like that. There we go. Yeah, can't be having any of that shenanigans now, can we? Yikes. Alright, uh, we also have the damage of the rain, but that's that's sort of a moot point. And we'll dress up this later when we get, uh, when we get a bit more of this. Excuse me, maybe I do have that issue right here where I'm... Yeah, I'm trying to walk up the centerpiece, and where I turn this one is just a little too difficult. So you have to, you can't go direct center, you have to be off to the side one way or the other. This one is a... Was this where I was still? Hmm. Clearly I was still experimenting here. Uh, at this level. I would like for you to... Whoops. Not do that. I would like for you to... Maybe go something like that? Yeah, there you go. You just have to be off to the side one way or the other. Which, not super ideal, but it is what it is. Okay, so, uh, I want this to go out. I actually meant to bring Corewood up with me. Ew. Uh, so what I'm going to do to space these and kind of measure what I'm doing here is use these two meter poles. I know I want it to go to be a meter and a half tall and then come down. So from this platform, well, I mean, the outside piece, I know I want to be about a meter and a half tall. So what I'm going to need to go is, or two and a half meters. So I don't run out of regular wood on me as well. I don't like how you're looking at me. Um, all right, so let's take that set and the only core wood I brought, uh, I'm going to need more core wood, luckily... I did go over here. This is a black forest right there, so it's not super far. I can go grab core wood. I can do other shenanigans. I haven't moved the portal yet just because there's still a ton of wood over there, just like regular wood and, you know, other miscellaneous resources. But that's uh, that's stuff for me to do later off, off cam. So I'm going to want to go up. So if I know the outside's going to be about a meter and a half tall, if I'm going to use these 26-meter beams or 26 degree beams, they do come down, what is that, a, uh, okay, so they come down half a, give me that back, they come down half a block out, so I'm gonna go about three out, so it'll come down a meter and a half, so I'm gonna need two, four and then one so five meters and then yeah all right hold on give me uh i can i can do this i can i can do this give me this give me you and then you i'm gonna need something like that and then i want to come out actually give me give me one block going. Oh, come on. Seriously. Ah, there you go. I want that, uh, that ground support shenanigans. So, one, two. Actually, that's two. But I need to go higher than that. Because that's about where I want that, right? 
Because I want to be able to place that, have a gap, and have one going down. So if I could the correct snap positions. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you... That corner, yeah, like that. Yeah, because I want to have... Yeah, something like that. Hmm. So I need you another half meter up. So that needs to be two meters there. Or two meter pole. Uh, where I put that one meter boy. Yeah, yeah. Nice, uh, nice measuring, Greedy. You figured it out in the end, I guess. There you go. And then you want 26 meters. One, a two. Do I want three? Do I do I want to go that far? Uh, I know that I do want out like this. Uh, and then yeah, we'll we'll leave it out that far. That's how far out it'll go. And then I'll have this small range within within my um within my purview to use. Now I'm also going to use these 45 degree beams on the underside to try and confer additional stability uh, going outward. So, like, that's just the, you know, beef up everything. These guys, should I bring them down if I use 4 meter beams like this? That should confer, yeah, a little bit of extra stability. And then I guess... On the underside, if I could uh, go down, and I get you and one more. Does that tee into the tree? Oh, easy. Yeah, it does. There we go. And that's how I will ah build up and around in this place. I don't need you. Actually, you're just you're just an example. Oh, uh, but I feel like that's gonna actually. End up with me being a little lackluster here, size-wise. Uh, and I kind of want this rounded. So I think I'm going to go from the center, go to in either direction, turn, four, turn, four, turn, I guess is how it's going to work. Uh, huh. I think. I think that's how it'll work. So if I go... One, two, and we're going to turn two, and it's going to go like that, uh, and then, you know, I, I place in things to get it all gussied up, but I'm going to need something to confer a bit of stability for a moment, so, you know, everything gets plotted out, so give me your stability, you, I, Swamp is my least favorite place to build. Uh, which is why I, I wanted to do this. Go above, sort of. To. Yeah. Maybe I need to go. Three turns. How many turns is there? So, this is base. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Alright, so sixteen to get back to the original position. So I go four, it's a square. Uh hmm. If I needed to do it, uh, it's an even increment is the issue. So I guess it is it is gonna be Travel two. One, two. It'll be three and four, but right here is where I'm going to try and bring in my stability, right? Um I need you to go over. If I can use these to measure, please. One a two. Alright, y'all have a different radius internal, don't you? 
you. Yeah, because it's... Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Why did I choose this? Oh. All right, uh, give me... Give me a minute to do some, some design work. Also, I should probably eat. Uh, the extra food I made up is now all gone. Great. But yeah, give me, uh, give me, give me a minute to, um, to do some shenanigans, I guess. Uh, and actually, I may end up ripping all this down. Uh, I need to look at some... I need to do some measurements and some drawing and some design work and see what I can come up with that'll work in a fashion I want it to work. Because right now this is it's just going to be frustrating and I'm going to end up, you know, deleting all of it. Um, and I don't want it to be because I could just do it and make it a big box that's around a segment of a tree, which I don't want. And I also want it to come out a little further. So I'm going to pause X on this and we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do... Ow. Uh, we're going to fall. Uh, actually, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to drop off this core wood I have. Hopefully. I uh, actually should be able to. Uh, just fine, because I need the core wood here. You give me that. The 19 can go in here. 8. Give me this stuff. It fits in there just nicely. Um, yeah. We're going we're gonna to head back to base base, to our meadows base, not base base, meadows base, so I need to go to the maypole for the thing, oh, uh, more stuff I dropped, we'll, we'll bring it back later, but we need to go back, and we're gonna do a little bit of prep work, we're gonna make up our iron mace, and see if I can't upgrade it, and then, you know, deal with any other gear creation that we can get, get uh, taken care of. If I see an abomination on the way, we'll we'll change gears and go after it. Ooh, back at the uh, little maypole area. And here's the wood that's left. It's one, two, three, four, five. So 300 is left over here. Uh, would it get off of my roof? Stop it, jerk. Ah, but whatever. We're, uh, <laughs> we're back. I... Oof, yeah, I'm going to have to take some time throughout the week between these episodes and do a bit of a little sketching and measurements and, you know, get get it spaced out kind of the way I want it to. Because as it stands, it would have only been a little bigger than this room. And I say a little bigger because I know it would be about, you know, this is, what, two on the outside. Um, yeah, so two on each side with a two-tick turn in between each of these. If I go, yeah, one, two, yeah, with a two-click turn, uh, it would have been, you know, double the size, but it would have had the center eaten out from the the tree. So I wouldn't have been able to access that. So I realistically would only had, like, this amount of space right here that just sort of looped around the tree. And I want it to go, you know, maybe three out or something. Um, and it's going to end up being octagonal, no matter what I do. Uh, probably at best about octagonal. So there's that. But yeah, I want to um, want to take some time to think about that. Uh, repair what I can there. And what do I need for an iron mace? This is what we need. 20 iron, 4 wood, 3 leather scraps. Did I... I... <laughs> I forgot that. 20 iron. Uh, I have 3 wood on me. Gross. I need 4. Um, leather scraps. Ooh, I need to go grab some wood. Ah, because of course I do. Why, um... Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I need to grab some wood? I think I have any left out here. Do I know? Empty that long ago. Uh, I've got this spare workbench that's been just sitting in here. Uh, in what's supposed to become the storage room. So, break it down, I guess. Uh, me that back. And Iron Mace. Here we go. That'll be a direct replacement for the club because they're both blunt weapons. Uh, an upgrade. What do I need to upgrade the Iron Mace? 10 iron ingots, because we know we, we're going to want that to be, you know, 
pretty beefy to go up against old, uh, old bone mass. Bam. Oh, I could do it again to level three. Ooh. Yeah, might as well. Bone mass is kind of a, uh, a beefy fight anyhow. I don't have a tier five workbench. That's understandable. Have day. Uh, put that in there. Put the remaining iron in there. Throw that in there. I'll put the leather scraps in there. Just, just be carf. Um, where was I throwing my old gear? Do we remember? It's, it is very dark in here. I'm so sorry. Pull my torch out. Uh, oh, I was putting it in here, but that seems to be kind of full. Ooh, I'm going to need this hoe on me. Uh, so when I go back, you know, uh, but there we go. Got a, got a nice, nice mace here. We'll be able to do some decent damage to old bone mess. This is his, uh, his weak type here is the, the blunty boys. Um, hmm. Right. And I need some, some food. Since we're doing, you know, a bit of prep work. It's dark outside anyhow. Uh, oh, I made extra minor healing, which puts me, hey, to a full stack. Nice. Uh, and then we made the poison resist base. Or mead. Ah, there we go. Oh, yeah, they come out in quantities of six. So, yeah. Get our poison resist. That'll be good for, you know, running around doing all the shenanigans in the swamps. The oozes and the, you know, the oozers or slimers or whatever they were called and the bone mass himself has a big poison effect thing uh that that will super be super super useful for um where was wait why did my why are my recipes all borked um yeah, what's up with my recipes? What uh, what happened here? Minced, uh, it got rid of all of my, um... Is there an update that happened or something? Uh, oh, right, I made a frost resist base. I'll put that in there. Uh, because I was preparing for the thing. But yeah, I used to make all my bases in here. For the mead. Did they change and or move that? What's, uh, what's up with that? Devs, excuse you. Forge stone cutter, forge barrows, anvil, obliterator, fermenter, uh, mead kilton. They made a new thing. Oh. Well, okay. Uh, tin, copper, and leather scraps. Oh, right. We can, uh, we can most assuredly do that. Tin, copper, and leather scraps. So. Uh, I forget how much it was, so we'll just do that, that, and that. And then you can give me... I can hear where it's kind of kind of light. Uh, and then you can give me this thing. That I, don't, I really don't have a spot for, because I did not... I was not thinking about it. You need a fire lit... Are you... Oh, I hate you. Why? What? what? <sighs> give me my crap back. Um, get rid of that, put it there, be able to throw a thing in the fire, and there we go, now I can see all the things again, ah, <sighs> yeah, frost resist was those, uh, minor healing, is that what I have, I have minor healing, yes, uh, me base medium healing, which is 75 health over time. This is 50 health over time. Uh, we could do it. We do have all the things. Poison resist would make a bit extra. Uh, but no, we have our we have our things for the moment. We're making some frost resist. I shouldn't need more than this one batch of frost resist. If I go into the mountains and I focus on killing wolves until I can make the wolf cape. Uh, excuse you, whoever that was. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't really need it. Uh, but we'll put the rest of this back. There you go. Have at it, my good fellows. Uh, and I need food. That's what we'll, uh, we'll do to round this out. It's a bit of an odd episode. We just sort of walked around the swamp. Uh, I decided on a place to live, then I changed my mind on the place to live, and then, you know, I flip-flop. Um... 
what was sausage was entrails meat in thistle was sausage question mark he says is a question yeah, it was ha 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 ah there we go sausage is a um is a good food that'll last you a while for for health wise and gives you a decent amount of stamina so oh it stacks to 20 hello I'll just make up 20. F it. Um, and then I want uh, carrot soup, which is carrots and mushrooms. Can do. Carrots. Uh, these mushrooms. Have the intros back. Have that back. I want my carrot soup. Fortunately, these are going to make one at a time. So it's a very, very hefty cost for your uh, carrots. Three apiece. But it's 45 stamina. Uh, we'll go ahead and make six of it. Um, yeah, because eventually we'll be able to do ice cream. Oh, I guess I could do a muck milkshake. We have ooze. Uh, and that's better stamina-wise. Oh, and has one extra point of health. Oh. It's less health per tick. This is two health per tick. This is three health per tick, one health per tick. Uh, and it's five minutes less duration, so I don't know how much that trade-off is, is great. Um, hmm. But it is a good option. Good option. Queen's Jam was, you know, the one before it. Also gives that. Uh, Deer Stew is, yeah, another good healing and health one. So I need to grill, and I need to grab some bluebers. I need to grill some of that. Uh, put the thistle back. Uh, put the mushrooms back. I need to grill meat and grab blueberries. That's what I needed. All right. So, excuse me while I uh, I cook these because this is literally just waiting. And I'll um I'll see you when uh when it's done. There it is. The cooking is done and dusted. I just made up all nine of that uh that stack of uh, raw deer meat that I had. Um, just figured, why not? Just, just do all night. It's a, it's a good health food. It gives me a uh, decent healing. So you know, uh, just, just do it. It's, it's, uh, it's good. It's, it's likely the health food I will be using during the bone mass fight. Um, actually, this is likely the full complement of food I will be using during the bone mass fight. Is you know, decent, uh, good health off of the sausage. Um, three hit points per tick, and then. Good health off of the deer stew. Three hit points per tick when I'm healing and recovering, trying to, you know, move around. I get two hit points per tick off of this versus the one I would get from the other one. So I'm looking at eight health every time I, you know, I get a little bit back. I have these to heal me intermittently. This to mitigate all that poison damage. And I need um, the root harkness at a minimum before I go and engage. Just because I... The Root Harkness is one of the pieces I like as my mixed armor set for, you know, longer and further into the game than, well, than where I'm at right now. Much further. Uh, probably most of the way through the plains, actually, if I'm being honest. Uh, the Fenris armor is great and whatnot. It's nice speed boost. Do love it. However, a mix of armor, a hybrid set that you create yourself, usually proves a lot better to mitigate a w much wider range of damage types and give you general overall survivability over any one set by itself. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's stuff to worry about for later. But that is going to be all for this episode. Uh, it's kind of a weird one, wasn't it? Uh, all we did was kind of walk around the, the, the swamp a little bit. And we just, you know, scouted a base location. I decided on one, then I changed my mind and yada 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 did i say all this before am i I, I feel like i said this before was i thinking about saying this what? i feel like i'm going crazy here someone help me please for the love of god someone help me uh but i'm gonna do some um some some rough sketches uh some measurements and some things and you know figure out kind of what i want to i want to end up building i may even template it in a um in just a creative world just to kind of Kind of get my bearings of how I want to build this and be able to do it. Um, and then when we jump back over here, I it'll be figuring out how the heck I'm going to actually do it in survival. Um, 
But yeah, just so I make sure I have something that's that's halfway decent to myself and, you know, will be fun to watch me build and or time lapse or whatever. And I kind of want to go through more of the building process than I did for this one. I sort of, you know, like we we did a segment, we talked about, you know, some of it and then it was just time lapses. I, I built up the rest of the stuff and also I see where I stopped doing uh, uh, some structure strutting and reinforcements where you see I've got that beam there, but it doesn't continue over here. Uh, I need to fix that. But uh, yeah, I want to I wanna do a bit more of the talking, so I want to I wanna have it a little more fleshed out and understood for myself on what I want to do. Again, Swamp is the my least favorite biome. Give me that damn line. That's good for, uh, for meads. Swamp is my least favorite biome to build in, to play in, because running around is such an abysmal task. Uh, and Bone Mass is probably my least favorite, just how tanky he is. It is just, it's run in a circle shoot him or hit him and then you know he's just super tanky and he heals i think he's the fastest healing of all the bosses at least that i've fought um i've only ever fought up to motor um killed motor found a yaglith shrine but i never fought yaglith so i'm excited to get to those three fights the yaglith the uh the hive queen and then whoever the new one in the firelands was uh yeah, that's, that's stuff I'm excited for down the road. Next time, it will be the building of the base next time. Depending on how quickly the base goes and how much time that takes up for that episode, we may do a little bit of uh, abomination hunting. That way we can get that Harkness, potentially even the Root Mask for, you know, that extra poison mitigation. Um, but, you know, how many abominations we can hunt either in that episode or the following episode. And then, well, it's going to be gear up and take down bone mass there's no reason to put it off any longer than that once i get a root harkness at a minimum and the base for the swamp is built might as well challenge the big boy himself but there'll be all that and plenty more to come so if you enjoyed it please hit that like button down below maybe even consider subscribing to the channel if you have any suggestions or things you'd like to see me try to incorporate in this build or future builds uh, as we you know move to each subsequent biome and things please leave them down in the comments i'd love to hear from you and to everyone, thank you again, and stay safe out there.